Earlier this year, Luke did a quick take on the 2019 Wolverine 850. On this episode, we're going to drill down on the new Wolverine 850 X2 R-Spec and see what effect the new engine has on both its sport and utility capabilities. The first renditions of the Wolverine arrived powered by Yamaha's 708cc single-cylinder EFI mill. The response from the market was less than exhilarating and mostly understandable. The 708 was a mid-50s horsepower power plant that in the face of the Wolverine's 100 horsepower competitors, specifically the Polaris General and the Can-Am Commander, was not pulse pounding. The 2019 Wolverine R-Spec comes out of the gate with an 847cc double overhead cam, eight valve parallel twin using a 2790 firing order. Dual 36 millimeter Makuni throttle bodies get their orders from the pilot through a drive-by wire throttle control. Yamaha's Ultramatic CVT shoots power through a high-low reverse subtranny into an electric shiftable 2x4, 4x4, and 4x4 diff lock transfer case. Wheel travel is set at 8.7 inches up front and 8.9 inches out back. Damping comes from four premium KYB piggyback shocks with high and low speed compression and rebound damping adjustability. Electronic power steering is connected to a new tilting steering wheel, while a new 600 pound capacity dumping box now has a one hand tailgate release. In the US market, there's Yamaha's available Adventure Pro integrated GPS and camera system. 2019 Wolverine specs are much improved this year as a result of Yamaha's incorporation of a number of important upgrades. However, there's one number that does confound us, 70. That's the claimed horsepower of the new 850 Twin. We found the new 850 Twin to be responsive, smooth, and linear in its power delivery. There's little doubt Yamaha's Ultramatic CVT contributes to the engine's overall smoothness and easy to ply throttle. In fact, this may be the best CVT tranny in the biz. However, the question remains, is 70 horsepower enough? Wolverine ride quality is confusing. The R-Spec's superb shocks come with the compression clickers set way too stiff. It only takes a second with a flat blade screwdriver to adjust the compression clickers and experience vastly improved ride quality. Even with the compression dampening set at full soft, we think the Wolverine would benefit from even less damping under most driving conditions. One thing which needs no fiddling is Yamaha's electric power steering system. This EPS is so transparent, you actually forget it's working. We never experienced one incidence of wheel whip while navigating our typically rock-strewn trails. Initial turn-in is soft, but exceptionally predictable. Sawing at the wheel as speeds rise can only be described as effortless. There's little doubt Yamaha is listening to the marketplace when it comes to the included competitive features on the Wolverine. The addition of a tilting steering wheel fixes a serious oversight on early Wolverines. And so does the addition of a sumptuous dumping cargo box with a Yamaha First, a single hand pickup style tailgate release. The benefit of these three items meet the competition head on. In as much as we are not overly impressed with the Wolverine's power and acceleration, we are impressed with the way the power is delivered to the wheels. There's no annoying throttle surge from your foot wiggling against the gas pedal in rough terrain. The drive-by-wire throttle filters out this annoyance. The Ultramatic CVT engages like butter because it uses a centrifugal clutch to generate engagement, not the CVT V-belt. Essentially, the CVT is always engaged. This eliminates and or reduces belt wear, belt dust, and belt heat. When the dust settles, it's all about whether the Wolverine meets your expectations. The equation you use to determine this is entirely yours, not ours. Here's what we mean. You may be completely satisfied with the new Wolverine's 70 horsepower twin cylinder engine's performance because the Wolverine is a Yamaha, and that's your metric for a side-by-side -side purchase. On the other hand, you may want more power. However, do you actually need more power? No matter what you value most, make sure you thoroughly check out the new Wolverine X2 R-Spec before deciding which sport utility vehicle best suits your needs. Thanks for watching this segment of Dirt Tracks TV. For more great content, make sure you click the links or subscribe to our channel where we're always updating with new content every day throughout the week.